The cell is the basic biological unit of all known organisms. Scientists use microscopes to visualize cells that are too small to see with naked eye. In a light microscope, visible light passes through a live specimen and then through glass lenses, which magnify the image. The quality of an image depends on resolution, which is the minimum distance of two distinguishable points, and magnification, which is the ratio of an object's image size to its real size. The resolution of light microscope is about 200 nanometers, and the effective magnification is about a thousand times, allowing visualization of mitochondria, but not most organelles. On the other hand, electron microscopes focus a beam of electrons on a specimen, which kills the cells in the process. Electron microscopes have a resolution of about 2 nanometers, which is 100 times better than light microscope, and a maximum magnification about 10 million times. Scanning electron microscope is used to study the topography or 3D structure of a specimen, whereas transmission electron microscope is used to study the internal structure. Cell fractionation takes cells apart and separates the major organelles from one another. Cell fractionation is carried out by an ultracentrifuge, which spins test tubes containing mixtures of disrupted cells with increasing speeds. At lower speeds, the pellet, which is the component that settles to the bottom of the tube, consists of large components, whereas higher speeds result in a pellet with smaller components. All cells contain four basic components a plasma membrane which separates the interior of the cell from the outside environment. Cytoplasm is the gelatinous liquid that fills the inside of a cell. DNA, which is the hereditary material in all organisms. And ribosomes, which makes proteins. Prokaryotic cells are characterized by having no nucleus and no membrane-bound organelles. A bacterial cell consists of a cell wall, which maintains cell shape, provides physical protection, and prevents the cell from bursting in a hypotonic environment. Another polysaccharide or protein layer known as capsule covers the plasma membrane. DNA is located in an unbound region called the nucleoid. The pilus is a hair-like structure associated with bacterial adhesion and related to bacterial colonization and infection. Many bacteria also have fimbriae, which allowed them to stick to their substrate or other individuals in a colony, as well as flagella, which allow some bacteria to propel themselves. All eukaryotic cells are characterized by having DNA in a nucleus and having membrane-bound organelles. The nucleus is enclosed by the nuclear envelope, which consists of two membranes. The shape of the nucleus is maintained by the nuclear lamina, which is composed of protein. Pores regulate the entry and exit of molecules from the nucleus. In the nucleus, DNA and proteins form genetic material called chromatin, which only condenses to form discrete chromosomes during cell division. The nucleolus is located within the nucleus and is the site of ribosomal RNA or rRNA synthesis. Plant and animal cells have most of the same organelles. Both contain mitochondria, which are the sites for cellular respiration, a metabolic process that generates ATP. Almost all eukaryotic cells also contain peroxisomes, which are specialized metabolic compartments bounded by a single membrane. Oxygen is used to break down different types of molecules, from which hydrogen peroxide is then formed and converted to water by peroxisomes. Animal and plant cells also contain endomembrane system, which is a group of membranes and organelles that works together to modify, package, and transport lipids and proteins. The components of endomembrane system are either continuous or connected through transfer by vesicles. The endomembrane system starts with nuclear envelope, which is continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum, or the ER. The ER contains two distinct regions. Rough ER contains bound ribosomes, which produces membrane and secretory proteins whereas the smooth ER lacks ribosomes and functions in lipid biosynthesis, carbohydrate metabolism, detoxification, and storage of calcium ions. Molecules produced by the endoplasmic reticulum are transported by vesicles to the cyst side of Golgi apparatus, which consists of flattened membranous sacs called cisternae. The Golgi apparatus modifies products of the endoplasmic reticulum, manufactures certain macromolecules, and sorts and packages materials into transport vesicles, which exit through the trans phase. The endomembrane system also consists of vacuoles and plasma membrane, 
In animal cells, the endomembrane system also contains lysosome, which is a membranous sac of hydrolytic enzymes that can digest macromolecules. Lysosomes can engulf a food vacuole through phagocytosis. Lysosomes can also use enzymes to recycle the cell's own organelles and macromolecules in a process called autophagy. Some unique components found in animal cells but not plant cells include centrosomes, which contain a pair of centrioles that serve as the main microtubule organizing centers. Microtubule is a type of cytoskeleton which will be discussed shortly. Animal cells also contain flagella, which are structurally different from bacterial flagella, but also provides motility. Plant cells also contain some unique components not found in animal cells, including cell wool, which are composed of cellulose, and provides tensile strength and protection against mechanical and osmotic stress, functionally similar to bacterial cell wool. Plant cells also contain chloroplasts, which function in photosynthesis. Chloroplasts contain thylakoids or membranous sacs stacked to form a granum and stroma, which is the internal fluid. The nucleus, mitochondria, and chloroplasts all contain double membrane, whereas peroxisome contains single membrane. A huge component of the plant cell consists of the central vacuole, which stores organic compounds and water. The cytoskeleton is a network of fibers that organizes structures and activities in the cell. It is composed of three main types of molecular structures. The thickest components are the microtubules, which are hollow rods about 25 nanometers in diameter, made of tubulin monomers. Microtubules function in maintaining cell shape, providing a railroad-like pathway where organelles can travel on, which are driven by motor protein and powered by ATP molecules. Microtubules also control the movement of chromosomes during mitosis, or cell division. Lastly, microtubules function in cell motility through flagella and motile cilia which contains motor proteins known as dynings that alternately grab, move, and release the other microtubules. Intermediate filaments range in diameter from 8 to 12 nanometers. They are composed of fibrous proteins such as keratins, and they function in maintaining cell shape, fixing organelles in place, and forming the nuclear lamina. Lastly, microfilaments are solar rods about 7 nanometers in diameter, built as a twisted double chain of actin subunits. Microtubules function in maintaining and changing cell shape. Bundles of microfilaments also make up the core of microvilli in intestinal cells, which helps increase the surface area for nutrient absorption. Microfilaments are also part of the thin filaments during muscle contraction. Thick filaments compose of myosin post-actin filaments closer together during muscle contraction. Localized contraction brought about by actin and myosin also drives amoeboid movement, which is a crawling-like type of movement accomplished by protrusions of cytoplasm of the cell, involving the extension and contraction of cellular extensions known as pseudopodia. In plant cells, actin-myosin interactions also drive cytoplasmic streaming, which is the circular flow of cytoplasm within cells that speeds distribution of materials within the cell. Lastly, microtubules can also be arranged in actin rings that forms cleavage furrow during cytokinesis and separate starter cells. Animal cells are covered by an elaborate extracellular matrix, which is mainly composed of collagen, glycosaminoglycans, and proteoglycans. The cell membrane contains surface receptors known as integrins that functions in bidirectional signaling between cytoskeleton and extracellular matrix. Proteins of extracellular matrix are bound to integrins through adhesion glycoproteins known as fibronectins in animal cells and pectin in plant cells. Extracellular matrix can mediate cell migration, cell adhesion, differentiation, blood clotting, and immunity. Neighboring cells in tissues, organs, or organ systems are often connected through intracellular junctions. There are three main types of cell junctions in animal cells. Desmosomes are anchoring junctions that fasten cells together in strong sheets. Intermediate filaments made of keratin anchor desmosomes in the cytoplasm. They are found in muscle cells to provide tensile strength during stretching. At tight junctions, membranes of neighboring cells are pressed together, preventing leakage of extracellular fluid. They are typically found in epithelial cells that provide watertight environment. Lastly, gap junctions provide cytoplasmic channels between adjacent cells. 
They function in cell-to-cell -cell communication and are responsible for synchronized contraction in heart cells. They are made of six subunits called connexons, and each connexon is composed of six connexins. Plant cells also contain desmosomes and tight junctions. However, they use a different junction for cell communication known as plasmal desmata, which prefer plant cell walls. Through plasmal desmata, water and small solutes and sometimes proteins and RNA can pass from cell to cell.